Sir, over here to your left. The low calf kicks, those are a game changer. Uh, Joe Rogan kept talking about it over and over again. Was that something that's part of the strategy or just something that you saw in there? He was really heavy on that left leg. Uh, just something I saw. Uh, he kind of kind of lunged kind of forward, and I was like, okay. So then I started, we started off with, like, exchanging my hands, and he stepped forward again, and I just threw it and uh, kept landing, so I kept going back to it. I kept watching the replay over and over on the on the last part because it, it looked like it just grazed it and the commentator said that and then one angle I noticed it kind of it looked like it clipped his kneecap is that you think that's where he got hurt or was it on the calf uh honestly I'm not sure I know my foot hurts right now from kicking something and uh uh yeah I just you know I'm just trying to land the land my shin wherever it lands whether it's on the side of the knee the calf the leg uh, I'm just aiming for that spot so I you know glad it worked so um, what matchups are you looking forward to in this division? Because, you know, looking at the rankings, this is a big jump for you with this win. Big, impressive win. It's going to definitely move you up into the top tier. Who are some of the other guys you got your eyes on? Uh, honestly, on everybody. Uh, to be a champion, you got to fight everybody. doesn't matter if I fight them now or later. Uh, you know, I know Joe, Joe and uh, Figueroa are going to fight for the title. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Fire Island and hopefully be the replacement. I, if I have to, I'll go out there and might fly myself out. Um, I feel I'm next to line. Moreno uh, got a split decision win over Flaminga. Uh, Pantoja's booked. So, I mean, that would just leave me. Uh, so I'm going to be there, be on weight, and, you know, hope, like hopefully they fight. If not, I'll step in. doesn't matter which one. Nice. And uh, in your opinion, who takes that fight in the rematch? Uh, I feel uh, Devison Figueroa will. Uh, he has too much power, and his jiu-jitsu is a lot better than when the way he showed when he fought Jasser. Uh, I mean, I thought the first time that was going to be the only chance Joe had, and he surprised me with that armbar. Uh, who knows? It might have been a fluke or not, but I, I just think Devison Figueroa hits a lot harder. I think if Joe can take it to the later rounds, uh, you know, and land punches and kicks and stuff like that, he might be able to pull it off. But uh, Figueroa has that one punch knockout. Alex right here. Uh, this is the second week in a row where a fighter has finished someone with low kicks. Is, is this something that we should expect a lot more? Like, why is this being utilized a lot more now? Um, I, th I think MMA goes through trends. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it's just one of those things for a while. It was like the ground and pound. Now it's all stand up. Now it's, you know, for a while it's body shots. Now it's leg kicks. I think it's just a trend that everybody goes through. Um, you know, just glad I picked it up. And then in, in your uh, post-fight interview, we couldn't really hear it back here, but it sounded like you were naming names of people that are no longer with us. Is that uh, right? Yeah, uh, so my, my good friend and training partner, Desmond Torres, his dad passed away. Uh, he ended up going home, like, right on time. Uh, the next couple of weeks, he, his dad passed away from a heart attack. Uh, this lady at her gym, her name's Christine. Uh, she works with a, a company called Cenex Wear, and they sponsored me and they sponsored all the fighters uh, – at the gym and sponsored people in Thailand. And uh, she ended up passing away randomly. Uh, someone called and had the landlord go check in and she had passed away at her house. And then one of my good friends uh, uh, owns an MMA promotion. They had a sponsor, he, they sponsored me and then it's Mario. And uh, his wife was killed in a tragic accident. Um, just crazy freak accident, you know. Um, and it's just crazy how 2020s ended up, you know. It's kind of like up and down roller coaster. And uh, you know, it just sucks. I, I'm hoping my victory brings a little you know, happiness, at least for the moment, or lets them forget about what's going on. Is it hard to focus when all that's not, like your what's going on with you and what's going on in the outside world right now? Uh, I do a good job. Once I'm in the gym, I clock in. Uh, I can't think about anything else when I'm in the gym because I got killers after me. Uh, guys, you guys will know, like Desmond Torres. Um, I got guys like Cheeto Vera pushing me every day. So if I'm off one day, I'm going to get killed in that gym. You know, I got Luis Samoka, Carla, all those guys in there, Robert Hernandez. Um, Junior, I got all these guys in there trying to kill me. And, you know, so I, every time I clock into the gym, I kind of leave all my personal life issues outside and kind of just clock in and do, do my thing. And once I get done, I kind of get back onto it, kind of think about what I have to think about.